What is up guys, shout out Gil back up in here with a pack opening video for the newest set, that being for the Tenpai, Ritual Beast, and Infernoid cards. We also have a few other cards in here, like, for whatever reason, I've never know I did not know this actually exists, but apparently a card for the Dragon Rulers and a bunch of other things. Either way, um, I'm looking at this set, I'm looking at this set, and I just have to think, what the crud Konami is this? Here's the thing, I'm wanting to play Tenpai, okay? And in the real world, Tenpai is really cheap. Master Duel? Oh, <laughs> no, they are going to force us to spend so much to try and get these cards. Look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five cards for just Tenpai alone that are all URs. And here's the thing, the Phaedra is SR, Dora Dora can also go with the deck, so that's also SR. Sengen Summoning, they preemptively put the two, which makes sense. You know, it's one of the biggest problem cards for the deck. And it's also an SR. I don't even think there's any, like, main deck monster or specific spell or trap card that goes for, uh, for Tenpai, except, like, this one right here, which I don't even think I'd be even playing. That isn't expensive. This is almost making Voiceless Voice look cheapish. It... Not really, but you know what I, you know what I'm saying here? Do you know what I'm saying? That being said, I'm just gonna open some packs. Hope for the best. Maybe, maybe I get what I want. Or they're gonna give me, like they always do, everything else that does not relate to it. I'm gonna just skip this one right here. Oh, look at that. All SR stuff. Not even a single UR. And not even a single one I was needing. Then again, goblins and stuff are kind of cool. But not a single card that I was needing. Okay, now, we got a guaranteed UR, though, right? Well, let's see uh, how many we get. Oh, okay, we got some cards, got some URs. Yeah, for whatever reason, they decided to put Tenpai as UR heavy as possible, which is absolutely ridiculous. What do we got here? Uh, Ritual Beast, yay. Uh, maybe I'll pick up Ritual Beast instead of Tenpai, because apparently it's going to be cheaper, or something like that. I don't know. Rarity upgrade would be good. Yeah, it's, it's a weird thing, you know? It's like the game knows what you want, what you want, and they're like, mm, nah. Uh, another Danger Jackalope. I also have already a lot of the Danger stuff anyway, so I don't even need them, so it's just going to become dust. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, one of the problems with trying to play a card game that actually, you know, requires you to do gacha pulls for it. Uh, Dora Dora, that's good. That's, uh, that's good for the Tenpai strategy. Okay. First, you are the video. Give me something good, please. Something spicy. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, um, well, technically it can be played in it, but, uh, don't, probably not gonna be playing it. That's, that's unfortunate. It's also a new UR, for whatever reason. It requires two fire monsters. I don't know. What we got? Goblin biker, boom, and then another goblin card. Maybe I just play goblins. Yeah, just let me just shill out a bunch of other stuff and get the goblin cards. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Ah, uh, what else we got? Nah, absolutely nothing. You know, this is... This is so stupid. Oh, there, Unfortunately, it's very evident the power creep in Yu-Gi-Oh! is immense. Ooh, got that one. If you look at the modern day Yu-Gi-Oh!, every new expansion to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, card pool is becoming incredibly expensive, namely the good cards. Tenpai was cool because it was cheaper. You could actually afford it for the most part. But now, you go over to Master Duel, you don't get that option at all, which is absolutely ridiculous. Sengen Kaimen, okay. Okay, that's one. Come on. Uh, Biker Big Gabunga. Well, maybe I am going to be playing Goblins, I don't know. Yeah. Got one. Technically, only two cards I would go for the Tenpai strategy. If I only get the Goblin stuff, that'll... You've got to be joking. Skip. Okay. They lied to me a little bit. Still, only three. And not even the ones I'm going to be playing. I mean, I got, I got the Phaedra, but that's an SR. Those are, like, so easy to get because... <sighs> what was that? What? The crud was that? All right. All right. Okay. Okay, man. O okay. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, Konami. Are you wanting to keep players? Or are you wanting to get them angry and upset? 
That is what I'm experiencing just from these pulls alone. Just from these pulls. Let me open up a let me let me open these ones normally because I know what happened. You are in this, but I am absolutely appalled at this rate right now. It's absolutely d disgusting. It it literally is disgusting. It's well to be fair, they also know that Tenpai is gonna be the hot deck. Haha, uh -huh, you get it? It's a fire deck and it's a, you know what I mean. But Really, if they want to make Yu-Gi-Oh! more interactive and available to players, they can't just keep putting up these cards as such high rarities. I understand, you want people to, you know, try and go for them, you know, can't get make it easy, but it's essentially going to become pay-to-play. And that's really bad. That's really bad. Ugh, come on. Konami. What the crud is this? Kon what is this, Konami? Can you tell me exactly what's going on here? <sighs> I, 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 I'm absolutely astonished. Absolutely nothing. Like, oh, what? <laughs> to be fair, guys, maybe it's coming to the point that I need to set Yu-Gi-Oh down for a bit. Just saying, just saying. Got a UR saying in summoning, it, but it's an SR. And what's the UR? Ah, yes, Metal Tronus. I don't even know if I'd be using this because it's apparently a virtual beast, I'm assuming, from the card art, but I have absolutely no idea. Oh my gosh, this. Guys, how are your polls going? Like, like seriously, how how's everybody else's stuff going? I don't think I'm using that. And what's this? Oh my gosh, another virtual beast. Wow, oh, that, that, that's crazy. Come on, help me out here, game. Please. Okay, well. What we got here? Infernoid. What's this? Come on. Well, Ritual Beast Tamer Lara. Well, maybe the game's like steering me to forget about Tenpai. Go this other route. But that's not the deck that's going to win. No matter how good all these other decks are. <sighs> We know that Tenpai is much more powerful than all these other decks. We know this, and that's why everybody's going to be going for it and playing them. It's also why I'm going for it, because I know that if I don't play a deck that's on par, or is able to counter a lot of the main deck uh, meta strategies, I don't stand a chance. Canahawk. Well, I mean, that's for Ritual Beasts. Is, guys, I'm I'm sorry, but if this is how my polls are gonna be for for trying to make a deck like this, like it's absolutely stupid. Voices voice was incredibly power like expensive. It's strong, but it's not even like meta strong. It's just very strong. Chandra, first of the Chandras. <sighs> guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I hope you understand. I hope you guys understand if I don't if I don't actually feel like I should keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh at this point because this is absolutely appalling. I can't... Here's the thing. If I wanted to actually get these packs, I would need to, one, be grinding a lot into the game, which I can't do all the time because I'm doing school, or two, spend a gajillion amount of dollars into a digital card game that's not going to give me much return. Another Doki Dora Dora, okay. But it's still... Guys, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I love the game. Believe me, I love the game, I love the interactivity and being able to play cool decks and do cool strategies and all this other jazz. This is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I just... I don't understand. Another goblin bike. Ooh. Maybe I play goblins. Oh. Let me get on my upstart. Ooh. Upgrade to UR? Uh, I appreciate that. But I better see like two URs in this pack that's actually for Tenpai. Come on. One. Maybe they gave me one at the end. No, another Goblin Biker. And what's this? Ritual Beast Ulti Viratari. Viratari? I don't know how you say that. Either way, that's... That is... Yeah, the game just... it. Here's the thing. Last 10 packs. Last 10 packs. What's it going to give me? I'm just going to skip. What we see? Now I actually see some good cards here. Are you serious? Okay. 
Got the Sengen, Sen Sen Sengen Pie Transcendent Dragon. We need two of these. Finally got a single Pedra. Don't need that. We got another Sengen Kaiman. Got a bunch of Infernoids and a bunch of other SRs that we're not going to be using. Play set of Doradora, finally. Okay, well, that is... Like, out of, like, how many did I spend? 6,000 gems? 6,000 gems? And what did I get? Newly added cards? Well, let's look at the, my cards. How many do I have of each? Well, let's look here. We got a bunch of Infernoid stuff, a few gob Goblin stuff, uh, you know, R Ritual Beast stuff. Okay, okay. And to be fair, we got some decent pulls for our Tenpai strategy. But not nearly enough to even play it out of 6,000 gems. That's even more than spending $70. That's more than spending $70, and we weren't even able to get all the cards we actually needed. It's absolutely atrocious. It forces me to have to use dust, okay? Now, now let's let's go back over to, like, the... Let's go back to our spot, okay? Let's see if we're trying to build a deck, okay? If we wanted to build a deck, and I can't remember... Uh, exactly how I was trying to build it. I just know that I had a lot of the cards already set up to actually be using it because it's a going second strategy. Let's look up the ten pie and let's see how well we can actually do this. All right, we need like I think I can't remember. I know we need three of these. I'm pretty sure we need like three or two of these ones, three of these, the, uh, the max copy of these because these are necessary. I can't remember with Phaedra. I'm uh, just going to check one thing, just to make sure I'm not being stupid about this, because I don't want to look like a fool. Uh, but I do know that we need... Uh, Tempai. Let's see here. What else do we need here? Okay, so we need... Uh, looks like... Yeah, we need one, at least one of the Genrokus. We need at least one Genroku. We need three of the... Uh, let's see, Pedra. I think we need, like, yeah, we need two Phaedra, so I guess we got that. And then, let me see here. Mm, yeah, Chandra. Chandra, we need three of. Okay, sure, yeah, it's whatever. Let's look at the really cards. Mm, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Now, let's go over here. Sangin. Now, for this, I know we need, I'm pretty sure, at least one of these, two of these. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. And I think we do need uh, three of these. I'm pretty sure that's... That's what we actually do need. Yeah, th we need three of the Kaiman. Um, let me look at that. Look at that. It's it's a full uh, it's a full deck list, I guess. I'm still lacking dust. Uh, and now let me let me just. I'm sorry. I know I'm just rambling and doing whatever, but this is atrocious. Okay, it's absolutely uh, atrocious from what I am seeing right now. Because how much you are and SR dust do I need? A lot. Like a lot. And even then, I would have to start dismantling cards, and I don't even have, I think, enough. I don't want to uh, eliminate all the, all the other cards that I have, because uh, the most invaluable thing in this game really is you are dust, because of how little you're actually able to get. And I'm not just going to immediately wipe out like, a bunch of these cards, because I need these for other strategies and decks. It's so bad. It, it's... Do I ever plan to play Ritual Beast or Void or Infernoids? I don't plan to. I don't know if I will, though, because I want to be able to learn all these strategies, all these different decks, but they're just so expensive. And Goblins is a new one. I don't even know how to properly play this. I just know that I can, and it'd probably be a very cool deck strategy, but it's, it's expensive. And here's the thing. SRs are the ones you accumulate the most of, and not the URs, but the URs in this deck are what's necessary to make it playable. So here's the thing. It's either I generate like two right now, unfortunately, because I've been using it for other decks. And it's just like this endless loop of trying to build the best deck. One of This is one of the issues with Yu-Gi-Oh! The power creep. Yu-Gi-Oh! Or at least I should say the people running it. They want to make money. It's a part of the whole gimmick. Okay? It's a game. They want to earn money. They want to actually be able to afford stuff. I know. I get it. But look at how much URs are in this. And this is like just me throwing stuff together, which 
works in its own way. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Different URs. Times that by 30. How much do you think that is? That's over 900 dust. It's over 900. Oh, it's, I, I, I think it's actually, with uh, 38, I think it's actually more. I think it's over 1,000. And here's the thing. You don't even have to play all these URs. You don't have to play Lightning Storm or Regeki or Beast Feather Dust or all these other jazz. But these are the more powerful cards that make the strategy of Tempai so good. Because if you were to take away just all these cards and just have just, like, the Tempai stuff, or the cards meant to help it, like, search stuff out, guess what? You wouldn't even have an, an entire deck. You wouldn't even have enough. It's... Guys... Yu-Gi-Oh! has an issue. It has a problem. I want to play more of this game. I really do. But if this is how the game is going to go, I'll be honest, I don't know if I can... I don't even know if I can actually keep doing this. If this is how it's going to be. Really. Those are just my thoughts right now, guys.